All right, uh, March Madness and government waste collide this month. It's called the Egregious Eight Tournament. Our next guest is revealing the shocking truth about some of how your tax dollars are being spent, and it's pretty outrageous, to say the least. This is the third year we are doing this, and it's become a Fox and Friends tradition. We're proud to bring it to you. Arizona Senator Jeff Flake, who refused to age, joins us once again. Uh, Senator, <laughs> what have you discovered to share with us? Well, we've got a great uh, eight uh, at the top. Uh, I think you have some video of it as uh, uh, NIH spent about a million dollars uh, putting a bunch of marmosets in, in exercise balls on treadmills, uh, not to study anything specific, but just to determine whether studies could be done with uh, monkeys uh, on a treadmill. Right. And that, that's about a million dollars. So that cost us about a million dollars, and at the end of the day, we didn't really get anything out of it, but monkeys on a treadmill, I would say, is pretty egregious. You deserve <laughs> to be ranked. The NSF Shrimp Fight Club. Shrimp on a treadmill, not good enough. Now let's see what, what they have with them in terms of in, intestinal fortitude. <laughs> that's right. The first rule of the Shrimp Fight Club is not to talk about how much money you're wasting on the Shrimp Fight Club. Very this nice. This is Duke, Duke University, about $750,000 uh, National Science Foundation funding uh, to pit a bunch of shrimp against each other. Uh, they actually issued a pre buttle when they f found out that we were looking at the, this spending uh, and, and said, I believe, that uh, this could have military applications. I guess if we ever are fighting a bunch of shrimp, it right. might, but uh, I can't see the utility otherwise. If the shrimp try a land invasion, we have to know who to, put a, who to call on. All right, now That's you right. also talk about uh, Jurassic pork. Yeah, this is interesting. We now have, gratefully, an earmark ban, but uh, prior to the earmark ban, um, a lot of money was spent on this DOT, Department of Transportation project in uh, Colorado, uh, a bus running from, I think, Glenwood to Vail. So it, not exactly a, an enterprise zone area or low income area. Uh, but after that earmark left, we've continued to spend money on this project, $36 million just since 2010 for a dinosaur themed bus line. Uh, with heated sidewalks and uh, you know dinosaurs on the side of the bus, um, and it's just a lot of wasted money. All right, so let's look at the matchups. This is a very good mix this year, sadly, uh, as an American. But the first round, it was today, March 17th to the 25th. We're going to look at that matchup. And the second round will be the 28th uh, to the April 1st. We'll see what's being wasted there. The third and fourth round will be from April 4th to April 7th. And we'll have an ultimate winner uh, April 7th. And hopefully they'll be shamed into not wasting our money. But in the big picture, Senator, these are small potatoes. In the big picture, as you see, there are brackets. It, this is about... Uh, getting our budget in line and it's about entitlements right it is and, and um, you know if you're spending money like this you're probably wasting it on other things as well but there are other are other big big ticket items uh, that we're spending money on a lot of farm subsidy money uh, that we need to pull back and and obviously unless you're talking about entitlement spending uh, you're not really serious about uh, addressing our debt and deficit 